let's just say it's perfect. It's not, but we got to keep moving along here. And I got my form all set the way I want it. Now, so we got the form together. We went through the bonding steps. Handle. Time to make a handle. Bunch of different ways to make a handle. Take a guess. What's one way I can make a handle? A coil. A coil. Fabulous. That's one way. What's another way? Think about things you've built. What's something you've created that could make a handle? A what? A slab. Thank you, Julia. Perfect. Ooh, that's a chunk. An easy way to make a slab that acts like a handle, because it's long and thin, is to start with a coil. So I could make this into my handle, or I could flatten it. Remember how we threw it down a couple times? Ooh. I'm going to go straight down. Now, it went a little uneven. I could cut off my edges. I don't, want, I don't want sharp edges on my handle because that's unpleasant, you know, like you get a sharp glaze on there, I pick it up and it's like, ow! You don't want to drink tea with going with the hurt finger, right? That's not soothing. So I'm just gonna round these corners a little bit. And then what, another thing I'm doing is I'm working some water into this so that I can kind of bend it and move it a little more. I'm gonna show you a modified pulled handle. You can start a pulled handle with a coil or a slab, but what I'm gonna do, so the first two options on there, ways to create a handle was coil and slab. The last one is a pulled handle. I highly encourage, I want everybody to try a pulled handle and get to a handle. Your first one's not going to work. If you do, good job. Beginner's luck, good for you. But they almost never work the first time. I'm going to get a little water on my fingers and I, I like to use these two fingers here and I just keep getting water on them and I pull them down like this and I'm working water into the clay. So a couple things are happening. I'm making it more pliable, more plastic by adding water repeatedly. And I'm thinning the bottom edge so I can get more like a delicate look to it, more designs, more possibilities with how I bend it. Because working this water in is gonna allow me to bend it in a bunch of different ways. I can make it more curvy than I could otherwise. So I'm gonna round those corners a little bit. And I just, oh, see, and I put a gash in it. That's not the idea. That might break right there. But I'm basically thinning and using gravity to help me pull the handle and thin the handle. And this is longer than I need, so I'm going to make it into two in a minute. But start longer than you need because what often happens is you're like, oh, whoops, press a little too hard. And that's fine. It's going to happen. It's going to mess up, but that's how, that's how it goes. And I am keep working this water in. Can you kind of see how it tapers a little bit? This one is, this clay's a little bit drier. It's not tapering very fast on me. But I can get sort of a nice, interesting taper and get some thin edges too. So just to show you some possibilities, I'll cut this. Now let's just say this is my handle. Anytime I want to bend clay, I'm going to push it into itself because then it's less likely to want to break on me because then instead of stretching it, I'm pushing it together. Now I'm going to take this little guy Here's my handle. It could be you have a little handle as part of your design. This is maybe a one finger handle. You need to think about that. Remember, this is functional. If my hand fits in here, does, does a finger actually fit in there so I can actually pour the tea? If that's the case, maybe I have one finger that goes in and one finger that sits underneath so that as I'm using it, it sits like that. That could be a possibility. Now, this handle doesn't stick out very well, so a C might actually work. If I had a big see coming out here, I'd be asking these two tiny little edges to support a lot of clay sticking out. And the chances of it falling off, pretty good. So what if I change it up and I make it into a question mark shape? And I should have cut off a little more so you could see it better. But if I make a question mark shape now, there's more clay touching and it's got more surface area to help it be stronger. So the question mark shape is going to be much better for it to sit, and I know it's going to stay. It's much stronger. Now, I'm going to take this one off because we're going to use the pulled handle. I'm going to show you a little bit of what the pulled handle can do. So I've kind of made a nice smooth edge. I'm going to make this the question mark shape, press it into itself. And then I can do fun things, like I can take this Let's see. Yeah, I should have thinned this one a little more. 
maybe I'll make a little swirly handle. A regular coil or slab is not very, I'll drop it, is not very likely to do something like that. It's because I pulled it that now I can get this interesting shape and do more with it. And it's really easy for me to go like this and put that on there and go, huh, it's nice. But do you see how it's not lined up? You gotta make sure it lines up vertically. So I'm gonna line this up vertically. And if this is really soft and gooey, you might be just fine to loot it in. If I wanna keep this little swirl at the bottom, I definitely have to score and slip that. So I'm gonna mark where I want this to go. There we go. Lay that down carefully. So I've marked where it's gonna sit. I'm gonna score and slip. Anytime I wanna put something on here that I don't wanna loot, I gotta score and slip it really well. Give me some slip. Oh, that's better. More goober on there. And I'm gonna score here where it touches. And here. I'm going to scooch, scooch, scooch. And bring that up there. Scooch, 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 scooch. And here I'm gonna loop just to have a little more space there. And I'm gonna think about it. I gotta fit two fingers in there and I want them to wiggle because remember it's gonna shrink. So as I'm putting this on, I'm testing it out. And I don't want it, the handle to sit too far off because if the handle goes way out here and I have to hold it and this is full of, of hot water, this is gonna be heavy. So your handle should fit your fingers but not too far out. All right, so there's that. There's my, let's hope that stays. And it's really wet and gooey right now. I'm gonna fix up that surface with a brush and a little water on it probably tomorrow. It's got a little chance to dry up. Now, the lid 